Hello everybody, or hashtag Mighty Crew as I've now called you because of the channel name change. What do you think of the channel name by the way Paul, do you like it? Is it decent or? I actually like it. It, it feel, feels feels more fitting, you know? I mean I had like two years of winding up Geordies, uh, it got boring in the end because they just kept coming up with the same old crap, you know? Yay, just a rip off, you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so... I've already, I've, while I was waiting for you, I've already just recorded the preview for the Sheffield United and Forest game as well. Oh, I'm looking forward to them ones because I'm actually going to them games, so... I know, well, I did try to get the 12th off because, uh, you know, do you have Sky at all? Do you have Sky TV? No. 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 All right, well, because Sky have launched a new thing, Sky VIP. Me brother, the jammy sod, somehow managed to get a pair of tickets to the game before they all saw, before they all went. So you got... uh, to be honest, right? Yeah. You talk about that. Like, you know, I listen to Total Sport a lot, don't you? Yeah. Babes in Newcastle. Mhm. Mm well, well, I like what they've just started to do. I never thought they would, but every home game now. Mhm. Mm they are given a pair of tickets away on the Friday. The first, because I like it, because they did it, I think it was for the Derby game, I think it was. Yeah. The first I phoned in actually got a question of, the, uh, of Simon Pride, which is the horse of Total Sport. And uh, if that person actually got that question correct, and they, they, the get, they get a pair of tickets to the Sunderland game. Bloody hell. Are, are, are Sunderland that desperate, constantly giving away tickets? <laughs> um, right, two things. So, guys, if you see me lean down out of picture, it's because I've got a glass of blackcurrant juice down there. My God, I'm in heaven with it, especially on a hot day like this. Um, yeah, and if you see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at Paul, because the way you'll see it, I'm in the top corner of the screen, and Paul's sort of in the middle, so yeah. Um, but, right, so it's going to be a bit of a quick video, well, quickish video. Just going to quickly go through the signings. We'll go through the out players first because there's been a lot, a hell of a lot, isn't there, Paul? Yeah, there is actually. Because at first, I was like, when it came to deadline day, I was like, are we actually going to sign somebody? Well, oh, where, did sign them, where did them three come from? <laughs> uh, I know, I know. <laughs> right, so we've obviously had. The two goal the the two goalkeepers we've had Pickford and Manone, twenty five point six five for Pickford and two point zero seven for Manone. I think that's a decent bit of business to be honest. Yeah, I think it is as well. Actually, I'm oh, yeah. surprised we sold um, Manone to uh, a championship club. Actually, I know to Reading. I know. I I, I can't. I can't understand why you wouldn't want to stay yet. It makes no sense. I mean, we've got more of a chance of getting promoted back than probably Reading have. Well, to be honest, I think it's give Grayson plenty of time. You know, to get... Um, well, fair enough, he didn't know Robin, but he knows Jason Steele. Yeah. So, but it's definitely, you know, it's a good bit of business. So, obviously, then we've got... Jermaine Lenz loaned out, Will Buckley, uh, Victor and each of e, the legend that is Jermaine Defoe, uh, Stephen Pienaar and Sebastian Larson, all on a free transfer. So yep. they're, they're, they're gone. Sorry, Jermaine Lenz was lo loaned out, sorry. The rest were free transfers. Um, uh, Fabio Barini, Wabi Kazri, as we know, deadline day, and Papi Gilabodji, again, deadline day, all loaned out. Well, to be honest, uh, with, well, Kasri, I don't know if you've seen, but that other team can't actually buy him at the end of his loan. He comes back to us. Oh, uh, Stad René, yeah, yeah. I did hear something about that. It's just you always, you always assume, oh, God, you know, a decent player has gone out on loan. There's going to be a buy-in clause in there, isn't there? Much like uh, PSG with Mbappe, isn't it? Was it 165 million they had to pay at the end? For yeah, Mbappe? I think it is. Yeah, ridiculous. So that's the players that have gone. Well, 
gone and semi gone, I guess you could say. Um, now I'm going to leave a certain player till last because it's a player I genuinely that we've brought in. It's a player I feel so sorry for. I really do feel sorry for him. So I'm going to go do this in uh, in a bit of reverse order. Obviously, we've had Josh Marger promoted to the first team. I'm pleased with that. He's a decent player, definitely. Um, so uh, we've had Lewis Graben come in. Um, I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty okay with the way he's hit the ground running. He's uh, he's certainly well to be honest. He, he'd outperform any player that played last season, wouldn't he? <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right then, obviously we've had uh, Jonathan Williams. He was was he he was deadline day, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. he was. Yeah, from he was. Crystal Palace. That's the one on loan, yeah. And the one that's disappointing me the most. This isn't the player I feel sorry for, by the way. This is the one that's disappointing me the most. Is Brendan Galloway. Hmm. Can I just pick up on Williams? Go for it. There's one <laughs> thing I'm pleased with him. You, a lot of people said as well. Well, you might agree with this, Craig, because you Craig, actually, but somebody said on Total Sport yesterday on Williams that I think he'd do well with us. The only reason, yes, he was in the wheel squad. He travelled from their camp to come to Sunderland on deadline day eight to sign. Eight hours drive, yeah, uh, the, uh, and eight hours back on the same day. I mean, that's... That's the sort of dedication that uh, that Sunderland's been lacking, isn't it, really? Yeah, that's what we needed. I mean, you can't really say Jermaine Defoe wasn't dedicated. He just he didn't have dedicated players to give him the service that he needed. Y you know? Um... Even the Crystal Palace owner has came out and said that uh, Williams will do well with us. I never thought it would come out. No, that's, that's good to see. Don't we still own Crystal Palace, though? <laughs> <laughs> well, there was rumours flying around that Wickham was going to come back to us. Yeah, I couldn't see that happening. I think it would be good because he, he well, he is a goal scorer. You know, we all know that. Um, so yeah, uh, Brendan Galloway. Uh, yeah, less said about him the better, to be honest. He's like, uh, it's like he's always trading on eggshells, isn't it? Um, to be honest, I think I, I think it'd be a mixture. Where what uh, Grayson's trying to do is put Galloway in, see what he's like, and now with Brian Oviedo back, finally, yeah. I'd say uh, Oviedo actually going to plenty of games because I know he was in that game. Well, that bad game against Barnsley. Oh, but Oviedo, he was getting torn apart though, wasn't he? But Again, being out with an injury for so long, it's a lack of confidence for you, isn't it? I know. Don't go wrong. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say Oviedo has the pace of um, Theo Walcott, you know, or Thierry Henry back in his heyday. But uh, you know, he was just oh, he was getting picked apart left, right. When I was because I was at work at the time, listening to it on the radio. Uh, obviously, you know, spent a fair bit of time sitting around as I do during the summer at work, you know. So hence why I'm still putting tweets out, but. Oh, my camera just went weird then. <laughs> You're back. Kind of, yeah, that's kind of creepy. Okay. Um, <laughs> never had that before. <laughs> um, yeah, but, he, you know, he was just getting torn apart left, right and centre. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, somebody, I mean, because you'd think that maybe his experience would count for something, but nope. <laughs> I don't think he's played in the championship before, though, has he? I don't think he has, but obviously he's had the Premier League experience. He's had sort of the top flight experience, so you'd expect something better in the league below it, wouldn't you? You know, in the league below, in the league below it, in the league below, the hell is below her? <laughs> I've gone back to being five years old. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. So obviously we've touched. Well, we've pretty much touched on Williams, haven't we? Um, Tyus Browning. I'd say it's too soon to judge him. He hasn't mm. had the best game. I don't know because I don't know because I've been in, kind kind of impressed with him. Yeah. Mm. 
I guess only t only time can really tell for it though, can't it? You know, because he's gone from Everton, where he's more of a fringe player, and he's been you know Sunderland team. Who let's face it, we are probably the biggest team in the championship. Not bragging or anything, but you know it's it's been stated uh, by a lot of pundits. And for him to go from sort of fringe player to straight into a first team of a big club, it's it's a lot of weight on the shoulders for a 23 year old, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So now here's this is a player that's interested me, which I'm actually quite happy with because he is only 26 years old as well. Callum McManaman on a free transfer from West Brom. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm actually happy with that one and all. That that's, that's so in Newcastle fans for what. So in Newcastle for what he did do, what he did to you, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I put that one in. Right winger as well. Yeah, yeah, I am happy with him. So, moving on. Um, obviously, we've had. We'll go. We'll go to the goalkeepers next. So we've had Robin Router, I believe it's pronounced, and obviously Jason Steele. I know, obviously, well, you, well, you've already said you're pleased with Steele. Tried. Oh, I don't know. No, oh, he's changed his mind. Okay, he, he, he was sort of, uh, he was sort of happy that Steele was here before we start recording because obviously he knows Simon Grayson. <laughs> but look, look at it. Well, I, I know we shouldn't look at it, but look against Celtic, with Steele. Oh God, yeah, he had a fucking shocker, didn't he? So much for the twentieth anniversary game. It was the twentieth game of commissary, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, we I think, didn't get much for that. I think Router would do pretty well. Um, I know because he was in goal for the Barnsley game, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. But be again, interesting to see if he's in goal this weekend. Actually, I know he does want to nail down that first team place. I have read that, and the fact I can't really blame him for Barnsley because he pulled off a lot of good saves at the same point. The goals that Barnsley scored was because pretty much our defence buggered off. They went to Starbucks. He, you know, um, it's no good them going to Starbucks for a coffee when they know they've got a game to play. It's, it's just stupid. It really is. They're non-existent. So, but I, I think Routers going to nail down that uh, that first team spot. I think he's going to push Steele to the bench. If not, I think Jason Steele. I was going to say Mika, but no, new. No. No, no, no. <laughs> Mika in pre-season was diabolical. I know, again, not his fault. Lack of confidence, nowhere near enough games played. It, it, that can't be helped because, you know, to build confidence, you need to keep clean sheets for a goalkeeper, don't you? You know, pull off good saves. And, of course, if he hasn't had that, what's he got to go into? Nothing. You know? I'm pleased we sent Strychek out on loan as well. That'll do in the world of good. I'm surprised though, because I thought he was pretty decent during pre-season. I know he only played one or two games, didn't he? As a substitute. Well, he's just got injured as well. Oh, God almighty. Okay, maybe it is while he went out on loan then. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we just sent him out just to get some experience, I think, in the first team. Yeah. First team experience, I think. Yeah, it's it's a good move for him. It's definitely, it's a good good move for him as well. Although, I've got to admit, that's one thing it doesn't have on it. It doesn't have that strike check's gone out, even though it's been promoted to the first team. It doesn't have him on this website. Okay, mm. fair enough. Right, okay. So that's the goalkeepers. Uh, another transfer I'm happy about that we got for free. Mark Wilson. Not. Just, <laughs> just want to add, you might like this. <laughs> Come on. He is not related to me. <laughs> Paul's brother from another mother. <laughs> <laughs> as, as soon, oh, honestly, because you posted something on uh, on Twitter about it, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Because well, I put something like Mark Wilson <laughs> confirmed, and then Paul turns around and puts, um, it put, he puts something like uh, in no relation to me, and then Michael Bowers put something <laughs> like, are you sure, or something like that. My camera keeps going really dodgy. I don't know why. There with me. Let me just check the connection at the back. Which was... I just see because I'm I'm, using, I'm still using the um, Microsoft HD Life Cam, three thousand, three thousand, not two. You know, um, I've never had any problems with it before, but the light keeps blinking on and off every now and then. Apologies if the picture cuts out, guys. Nothing I can do about that. <coughs> 
Um, no, it's probably some of these. Oh god, I've got loads of warnings on this computer. I need to sort out. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't touched it for so long. So yeah, um, there it goes again. Is it? <laughs> what, what is that? <laughs> I was going to ask you, Craig. Actually, I know the transfer window's closed, right? But we can still bring players in, right? Free transfers. Who would you bring in? Oh, I don't know. Because um, I, I don't think Grayson will bring anybody in, because a lot of people's well, yes, people thought we would have got a striker, mm -hmm. but. I think Martin Bain and Simon Grayson thought Duncan Watmore is on his way back. Yes, that's that's what a lot of people forget about. I actually forgot about that till a couple of weeks ago, that Watmore is still out injured. But Watmore has actually done, he's done training. He's been in fully training. So he's back in training. So I wonder why he's been kept out of the limelight then. Because, I mean... Well, that, that's a player that we need has got a bit of pace about him you know because that, that's what you need in the championship you do need pace in the championship I would say Watmore's not ready yet but he has been in training ah there you go then something I did not know <laughs> right so we've uh, there you go we've covered Paul's brother from another mother that's never going to get old you know that's going to go on all season Paul you just know it yeah I know <laughs> well okay. I said to Pete if he scores I'm just going to jump up and go that's my brother <laughs> there we go there we go <laughs> you heard it here so we're, do we're down to the last two and this one's really pleased me because I've always been a fan of him um, pretty much every FIFA until he started turning crap um, <laughs> pretty much every FIFA apart from FIFA 17 I've always signed him Aidan McGeady I am actually pleased with that one as well, actually. Yes, so, well, obviously, I, I told you, obviously, I can't say too much, but um, I actually met his missus, if you remember me telling you, while you were away. Obviously, I could, you know, um, yeah, data protection, can't say too much, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, such a polite woman as well. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, back to the football. <laughs> um yeah, I, I, he, he's a sign I'm chuffed with. The, the only thing that absolutely... I'm going to swear here. I, yeah, I'm trying to obviously... As people know, I'm trying to change channel. I'm trying to tone down on the swearing. But the thing that's been pissing me off with him is all these fancy, stupid step-overs he's trying to do. And he's falling flat on his ass. He's just not concentrating on the route one. He's trying to be clever, isn't he? You know? And was it 32 years old, isn't he? Uh, yeah, 30, I think 31 he year old, 31. You know, 31 years old, and you know, no, no. You, you, as soon as you turn 30, you ain't no Ronaldo. You don't do stepovers. Ronaldo does. You don't. <laughs> um, but I think I think that's probably for me the best signing of the window for us. I would say that was the main transfer that Grayson was looking at when the window opened. Yeah, because he's he's a decent. Again, he's another right winger, much like uh, McManaman. But of course, the thing with the right winger, but you know that you can always play them on the left as well. Yeah, true. So, like because they the, they like that competency to switch over, because that's that's what you see players do time and time again, to try and confuse the opponent. You know, switching uh, positions, uh, things like that. Um. So for me, best signing ever, and we got him for a steal as well. Was it two hundred and fifty-two thousand? 52, not million, thousand. It's brilliant. Yeah, I think it was. And now we're going to go on to this, uh, the, the player I feel sorry for. I, I genuinely do feel sorry for him because he will score. He will. There's only one player uh, we haven't covered. I can see what player it is. <laughs> we'll let Paul name him. Who is it, Paul? It's James Vaughan. James Vaughan, yes. I feel so sorry for him. How many times does he have to hit the woodwork before he bloody scores? Yeah, I know. Oh, my phone's just gone off. Oh, God. It's <laughs> going to go off again, by the way, guys. Notification from Twitch. Told you. Um, <laughs> there's a copyright strike from Samsung there. 
Um, yeah, so, I mean, how, honestly, how many times does he have to hit the woodwork before he'll score a goal? You can tell he's not lacking in confidence. He's got confidence there. He's got the players around him because he's getting the chances. My camera's gone off again. You know what I think it might be? I think it might be because of the intensity of this light behind me here. I can't help it because of the way the bloody curtains are, though. Yeah. It's actually not as bright as you think. That looks massively bright, but it's not. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm surprised you can still see me. Yeah. The window uh, behind. I still see you. I still make out the tree behind you. <laughs> oh, my God. I need to cut that tree down, then. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, I, I, I think that... He, I, I, you know what? I think he'll probably score within one of these next two games. I don't think Forrest. I think he'll have a better chance against Sheffield United of scoring. If he plays, of course. I think he will play. Yeah, you think he'll play? Well, well I hope he does, because he, he's... I mean, for... Was it 28? 28-year-old, 28 you know, he's... He's good in the air, which obviously we didn't have last season, because we only had Defoe, who's, you know, like 5 foot 4 or something, you know? Um... He's good in the air. We've finally got someone up there who can win balls, which is good. Uh, it's just the score and goals that are losing him at the minute. <laughs> I think he'll get there <clears throat> with uh, players helping him. Yeah. I think. So, especially if McGeady stops doing his step overs and feeds the ball through instead, that might actually work on helping him score goals. <laughs> So, well, that's the transfers. Ah, uh, dearie me. What a tell. It's so hot in here. It really is. It's unbelievable. And uh, I've got one one question for Paul. No, no it's, it's nothing, nothing dodgy, you know. <laughs> uh, as you know, um, Adrian Silva. I believe it was £22 million to Leicester? Yes. Leicester missed the deadline by 14 seconds. FIFA, uh, I've just been reading it, FIFA have rejected their appeal to sign him. Or to not to sign him, to, to register him. He's signed for them, but he's not registered to play. Do you think that FIFA should change their mind? Oh my God, now Well, what? it's, up to, it's up to FIFA. Yeah. I actually thought you were going to mention what Sky Sports news were actually keep breaking. On deadline day, what's that? Ross McCormick. Uh, was it? No. Ross Barkley. Yeah, it was. Oh. I, I actually thought you were going to bring that up. Actually. Oh, we'll, we'll touch on that. This is just because I've just read this this morning, so it's sort of fresh in the mind. Uh, bear with me. I have a text from the missus. Uh... <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, we I mean, you know. Uh, Nearly nine month old uh, Jackson, the newborn, yeah? Well, not so much newborn now, but um, he's actually, because Danielle's out at the minute, and he's sh all he's shouting is Dada at the minute. Oh, he's bless. He's shouting Dada. He was doing it last night. <laughs> and he did. It, he was doing it this morning as well, uh, when I got up to get um, get my son ready for school. He was doing it then as well. Just babbling away, da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> Right, there you go, that's that text reply. The phone will probably go off again. Oh, God, I'm going to get so many copyright strikes from Samsung, it's unreal. Um, so, yeah, um, yeah, so 14 seconds. Uh, we'll, what we'll do, we'll leave it up to the people that are going to be watching the video today, yeah, because it's going out tonight. Well, it's going out literally in a few minutes, actually, once we finish recording. Um, do you think Leicester should be given the benefit of the doubt, guys? Leave your comments down below, as always, down there. And, um,. It'd be interesting to see what you guys think. I mean, 14 seconds, it does seem harsh, but at the same point, the rules are there for a reason. The deadline is there for a reason as well. So there's two sides to it, really, isn't there? I think they'll go in the meeting. Well, I know, they discuss. Have, I know they have appealed against it. I mean, chances are it's probably going to go to the uh, arbitration for sport. Uh, the court of arbitration for Operation for sport, yeah, that's the one, yeah. <laughs> so maybe the I was gonna say maybe the FA. 
could do something about that. Mm, possibly. I mean, if they were to get maybe the FA's backing or what have you, um, that wouldn't go too well for FIFA. But at the same point, you've got to look at it. Remember the whole scandal with FIFA? They've got to look to be pretty strict on the rules now, aren't they? You know? Um, but again, 14 seconds. It's Bear in mind, it technically hasn't ticked over to 11.01 yet as well. Or, you know, um, one minute past one, depending if they've got the extension slip handed in on time. Um, you know, so it does seem a bit uh, a bit harsh. Yeah, I'm just looking around Sky Sports, actually. Yeah, it's uh, it, it, it makes for some pretty bizarre readings. Um, obviously, we had the Ross Barkley saga as well. We'll quickly touch on that, and then we're going to end it with one final point. Bit of a sad point, actually, that I read today. Um, don't worry, guys, nobody's passed away, okay? Just just before you get worried and pause the video, I go, <gasps> no, no, all right, don't panic. But it's quite, it's quite sad, actually, it really is. But, um, yeah, so Ross Barkley... Oh my God! Where'd you begin with this debacle? <laughs> so get what was it? Um, that's what. 30, that's what Sky will be wondering about. Thirty-five million pound deal was agreed, wasn't it? Yeah, it, it was agreed. Then I think he went for medical, and then he disagreed. They're like, what? Yeah, apparently he completed the medical. The paperwork was just there to be signed, and then. He just changed his mind and left. With, I mean, he's got less than a year on his contract. He's gone and done that to the champions, Chelsea. I mean, but then, don't get wrong, the saga got even deeper the next day. Ross Barkley put out a tweet saying at no stage did he have a medical at Chelsea. But Chelsea and Sky Sports confirmed he did have a medical. Uh, what? <laughs> I'm pleased Chelsea finally got <laughs> Danny Drinkwater as well. It'll, it'll do pretty well for them. Uh, what, what how, long did the, how long did they have to wait for him? <laughs> oh, God, God. I mean, it pushed the boat out. I, mean, I, I think, it wasn't it announced after, obviously, the, the paperwork was sorted, but wasn't it announced at around about half one or something in the morning? I'm pretty sure I read it was around about that time. Yeah, it was, because I, I think with us, uh, um, I think I've seen it somewhere, that Callum... Uh, actually signed his deal just before 11 o'clock to sign hell. for us. God, just imagine if that didn't go over the line. I imagine, well, <laughs> obviously there's exceptions, you know, if uh, Brian they had that deal sheet filled in by 11 o'clock, because again, you don't know that, if they had the deal sheet filled in already, just in case, ready to fax over, uh, you know, but then again, do cha God. does championship clubs get them? Or is it just Premier League? I'm not too sure. I, 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 to be honest, I think you should. Because it it wouldn't make sense just having it for one league, would it, really? Because uh, obviously, obviously, I know you always hear about the Premier League deal sheet, but surely there'll be something in the Championship that's equivalent. Um, if there isn't, then quite frankly, that's a bit harsh, actually. Um, <laughs> but yeah... Um, Obviously, regardless, either way, leagues would have to make exceptions. You know, if machines broke down, you couldn't get the details across, what have you. Uh, they do have to make exceptions for that. That's That's been a thing in the past as well. Um, so, obviously, the final point of the video before we go. The Apparently, I've, I've just the heard Grayson speaking to the media at 3 p.m. this afternoon. Oh, 3 p.m. Okay, I'll try to keep an eye out for that. Well, you'll, you'll probably be doing the same as well, won't you? Because I don't know if you've seen, but what I like what the clubs just start to do is on their Facebook page, they actually do live stream Simon Grayson's press conference oh. live from the academy. Okay, I'll have to... The camera's going dodgy again. I'll have to sort that out. Um, <laughs> I'll have to have a look at that then, because uh, obviously I don't go to pick up the kids until another 50, 20 minutes' time, so... But, final point now, final point. The legendary commentator, John Watson. Mm -hmm. He's retiring at the end of the season. 
Oh my god. I was absolutely gutted when I read that this morning. Devastated. And believe it or not, I mean, this is how impressive his record is. He spent 50 years at the BBC. He's commentated over 200 England games. Over 200 England games. Um, bear with me. I'll, I'll get it up because I've got it. Uh, I've got it on me. Uh, on me internet here. Because um, it's it's some pretty impressive stats for reading. Uh, where are they? Where's this stat table? There's a stat table somewhere and I can't see it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> there it is. There we are. Right. Um, is milestones. 50 years with the BBC. Over 200 England games. 29 FA Cup finals. Now this is this is where you know you've had a good career. Because bear in mind these are every four years. 10 World Cups. And 10 European Championships. Oh wow. That is that's phenomenal. That no one's ever going to beat that ever, you know. And it's a shame because I always, always love his sort of uh, his live commentaries that he does as well. Because just some of the things that he comes out with, you know. And if he wants to attack a team that have played badly, my God, he'll go hell for leather, won't he? He really will go hell for leather. Um, but yeah, that that was um, that was actually quite upsetting when I read that this morning. So again, guys, along with the Leicester fiasco of 14 seconds, let me know what you think about that. Let me know what you think about uh, good old Motti retiring at the end of the season. I mean, you know what the final day of the Premier League season is going to be. It's going to be all about him, isn't it? It's as simple as that. <laughs> I think that's what Gary Lineker will be focusing on as well on match of the day. Oh, without a doubt, without a doubt. So, right then. That is going to end the video here. I'll have a quick two second chat with Paul after. Um, as always, don't forget to like the video. Comments below. I want your answers to those two questions. And that's pretty much it. Hashtag Mighty Crew. I am back. So, well, so is Paul. He's not going. He's going <laughs> he, he, won't be, he won't be here for every video, but you know, I'll get him on as and when I sort of can. Because uh, next week, oh man. Kids are back at school full time. My son's f full time, but my daughter's, she's after, camera's gone weird, she's afternoons and um, mornings for the first half of next week. It's a fucking nightmare. Well, so I have, well, I've got a busy week, mate, because Friday. Yep. I don't know if you've heard, the stadium is doing a quiz actually on the 20th anniversary. Yes, I read that on the website. Yes, I did read that. So I'm actually going to that on Friday night. Obviously, I didn't exactly pay the interest because guess where I'll be Friday night, Paul? Working. Go on. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Well, yeah. I'll actually be versing the club legends, which no, will be I... like Gary, Jimmy, Kevin. Yeah. Okay. But Kevin, well, the club said... That whoever wins gets a full tour of the Academy of Light. Well, that's a bit of a rarity, actually, isn't it? Obviously, I know they do stadium tours, but a tour of the Academy of Light, that's pretty interesting. Decent prize, definitely a decent prize. So, right then, guys. That is it. I'll leave the video there. And, yeah. The preview will be out tomorrow yeah it'll have to be tomorrow because I'm too busy on Friday far too busy on Friday so the preview will be out tomorrow guys so say goodbye Paul goodbye and come on Sunland. <laughs> red and white army till we die I'll catch you in a bit guys <laughs>